Kubuntu 23.04 was released the other day together with the rest of the Ubuntu flavors family. One of our viewers recommended it, so we decided to give it a try. Here's our quick review. In case you're new to Linux, Kubuntu is an official flavor of Ubuntu, the most popular Linux variant in the world. It comes with a very popular KDE Plasma desktop environment and provides a vanilla KDE experience. It follows a classic desktop paradigm aimed at general computer users. Kubuntu 23.04 provides an enhanced KDE experience with its latest 5.27 KDE Plasma release. We have been using it for a couple of weeks now and it looks and feels super professional and sleek and works flawlessly. Everything is in its place where it is expected to be and users have numerous tools and options at their disposal. Kubuntu 23.04 ships not only the latest 5.27 KDE Plasma desktop, but also the latest versions of KDE apps like File Manager, Application Launcher and others. So, for instance, the launcher called KRunner now prompts for an internet search if it does not find anything matching what you are looking for in your computer. Kubuntu 23.04 also comes with a new Linux kernel 6.2 and all major apps such as LibreOffice and Firefox are updated to their latest versions. Speaking of applications, Kubuntu 23.04 offers two app sources. The first one is from the official Ubuntu repositories, where apps are in the native .deb format, while the second one is from Ubuntu's Snap platform, which provides sandboxed, self-contained and regularly updated applications. Like all the other official Ubuntu flavors, Kubuntu 23.04 now does not offer the Flatpak support, which competes with Snap out of the box, but users can easily add it after installing the system. So, Kubuntu comes with a different installer compared to mainline Ubuntu. In Kubuntu 23.04, the installer is Calamari's. We installed it on the virtual machine. The process was smooth and easy and with no issues at all. After the installation, users will find a familiar desktop layout, a panel on the bottom of the screen with the system tray area in the right-hand corner, and some quick launchers, including the one for Discover, the KDE software store. Discover has also received a significant overhaul for how it lists apps and programs with the editor's choice and popular options. The System Settings app is one of the stars of the show in Kubuntu. It allows users to customize nearly every aspect of their desktop. It also includes general info about the system. Another landmark feature of KDE-based distributions in general is its start menu, which will be familiar to users. Applications are categorized for easy navigation. The update process is handled via the Discover app and the update process is simple and efficient. Kubuntu, with its KDE Plasma desktop environment, is a shiny and polished operating system, but still it is lightweight and efficient. During our virtual testing, and after opening and closing several applications, Kubuntu was consuming 1.3 GB of memory. As we have already mentioned in the video, like all other official Ubuntu flavors, Kubuntu now uses the Snap software platform out of the box. Let's check in the terminal how many Snap apps are pre-installed. 
So, it turns out that, excluding the platform itself, only Firefox web browser is installed as a Snap app. So, that prompts the question of whether Ubuntu imposes snaps on users, as often discussed on forums and in comments. Again, if you don't like the default setup in Kubuntu, the system settings application allows you to customize it to your heart's content. There are several pre-installed global themes, and additionally, you can tweak every single aspect of your desktop experience, including plasma styles, colors, icons and fonts. The System Settings app offers multiple layers of system customization, so literally, users can spend days modifying their systems according to their needs. The customization in KDE Plasma is well organized, so if you need even more wallpapers, apart from those pre-installed, you can get additional desktop backgrounds via the Settings app. There, you can also switch to the dark mode of the default desktop theme, and the change is instant and coherent. KDE Plasma also offers an easy way of switching between open applications. Speaking of the apps, we have also tested the Discover software store. We searched for Brave, a popular free and open source web browser. Brave is offered as a snap, and we will install it to test how it works. The app responds in an instant and works flawlessly. Seasoned KDE Plasma users know that it's so easy to add widgets to your desktop, which is exactly what we did with the time and weather widgets. You can adjust their position, size, and so on. So, what's Kubuntu 23.04 like? Well, after testing it for a couple of weeks now, we can say that we are now tempted to install it on one of our machines, and most certainly we will do it. Even though Kubuntu 23.04 is not a long-term support version, it is supported until January 2024. Tell us, what's your opinion on Kubuntu 23.04? Have you tried it? Thank you for watching the video. Please like it, share it and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.